Good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to Throwbacks Podcast Toy Reviews, where we talk about all things cool and retro, and uh, BJ with you here today, and today we're going to take a quick look at pre-Vizsla, not post-Vizsla, but pre-Vizsla, not even current Vizsla, but he is the current pre-Vizsla, just got this guy um, from Amazon. And uh, this is the first six inch scale version of this fella in the black series. And uh, I, I do say it's kind of an interesting choice of, of characters. Not what I would have thought they would have uh, come out with, but you know, they're striking gold with that, those Mandalorians. And he is a Mandalorian uh, from the Death Watch. And uh, I, could, I could see why they would spit him out to make a buck or two. Um, if you're uh, wondering who this guy is, well, we'll talk about him a little bit. Well, check out the package. It's a very nice artwork of Mr. Vizsla. And lots of uh, jibber-jabber on the back there. And nothing there. Nice JPEG hook. More jibber-jabber. And uh, without further ado, let's crack him open like he's Moff Gideon getting out of a downed TIE fighter. comes with a couple things let's be careful and, uh, i think this was the not the original appearance of how he looked i think this was the second armor he appeared in i don't i can't remember what season of the clone wars exactly but i, I always thought this was like the most over exaggerated uh jet pack i was like holy rocketeer batman let's see the rocket comes out pretty cool uh, little thruster things move this way and that. Uh, all right. Sorry, I don't want to lose his little blasters. It's a nice little Mandalorian Westers. Some little pew pews there. And take a look at him right out of the box. He comes with that, like, oh, God, I can't walk. I just got up from a, a long nap or a hot bath or a long motorcycle ride. There we are. Got to get his feet under him. All right. So, okay. Paz Vizsla. Or not Paz Vizsla. Sorry, Pre Vizsla. Paz Vizsla being his uh, descendant. Probably great grandson or something like that. Don't know. Um, very nice. And uh, <laughs> taking a look at him, I can I can already guess that you know they had these parts kind of laying around. They're like, eh, who else can we make out of this? Oh, well, I don't know. Revisla, why not? It's a very. I like the color of his armor. It looks really cool. You can really see on his gauntlets. It's a very nice kind of almost gunmetal. Kind of silvery look there and uh the likeness of his face is not quite what i would have expected it's not bad it's just it's a little bit different than i thought it would but you know that's fine not every <laughs> guy is gonna look like his cartoon of course We'd have, a, we'd have a lot of skinny, droopy chin dookus if that were the case. Uh, let's see, let's get him properly suited up here. And uh, his helmet on, his helmet's pretty cool. Comes with those nice little antenna thingies. Get on now. All right, his guns fit right into his holsters. And he can hold it just fine. Yeah. Oh, am I going to talk about this? You betcha. This is the Dark Saber, which, uh, if you've watched the Clone Wars, Rebels, The Mandalorian, you, you should know all about this. I'm not going to talk too much about this, but 
it's cool that uh, he comes with this. I think we already did get a Black Series scale version of this with uh, one of the many Mandalorians that had come out. I'm not sure, but it's pretty cool. And uh, I'm just really dying to do this comparison. I just dumped out my old school Clone Wars um, figures and I wanted to put him next to his old Clone Wars pre -Vizla, which I believe was the version before this one. <laughs> the pre pre Vizla version, you might say. And uh, yeah, I think they, they look different, you know? This is why I was kind of surprised by that that head sculpt. I just had a very different look to them. But whatever. He looks fine. Let's put his hammock back on. Yeah. And these aren't supposed to be the same costume. Again, I think this was his initial appearance and his next appearance. Here he is next to a live action Death Watch Mandalorian that saved young Din Djarin from becoming um, Super Battle Droid fodder. And, uh, since we got little Pre Vizsla, there's little uh, Mandalorian. Death Watch guy that I think he came in a like a four or five pack something back when they used to do cool things like that back in the day. And very cool. And of course he's supposed to be a live action version of himself. I think they did good. The colors are really nice. They're really uh, well. They're they're realistic. Um, you know they're very muted. They're not bright and cartoony. The metal looks like metal. His flight suit looks like a flight suit. It's very well thought out. Very good. Um, let's see. Let's do just a few more comparisons here. Since he's here, let's see. Here's him next to Captain Rex. Here's him next to the Mandalorian. And here is Commander Wolf. So, there he is with those guys. And uh, I'm not sure what other comparisons I can really uh, can really do for this guy. I mean, you kind of get the drift. I think he is made of uh, several used parts um, from older Mandalorians. I think Jango Fett, probably. Um, but, you know, they're doing what they can do with these parts, and that's good, because I think uh, he does look good. Uh, Dark Saber looks good. That's exactly how I would expect to see it. It doesn't really light up or anything. It's just a stick with its black, and um, I do have a little one for my little pre Vizsla, but after looking through two bags of lightsabers and two drawers of Clone Wars figures, I'm not sure where it is, and I don't want to spend too much time on it, but... It kind of just looks like this, but you can see what his looks like, and he has some good detail. And uh, <laughs> the backpack, I just think he just has a crazy big black, you know, like a vacuum cleaner kind of backpack for a, uh, you know, he's going, he's going into space with this thing. Oop. He's not just flying out of a, a crat, great dragon's mouth. Um. Uh, detail on this thing is actually the more I look at it the more I'm impressed by it I think it looks good um, yep and uh, like I said his his gloves look good his flight suit looks good um, his little pouches there have like a metallic color everything metallic on this guy and you could definitely tell the there's some reused pieces because modern Mandos, they don't, they don't, they don't work the uh, old cod piece anymore. No love for the cod piece. Even Boba left his in the Sarlacc. But that's it. That's all I have to show you today about Pri Vizsla. He looks good. Thank you. I think uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to give him a 10 out of 10.
Yeah, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta do that. It's kind of just sometimes a, you don't expect a figure, they show up and they're good for no reason. Don't even deserve to be. But uh, yeah, pre Vizsla, folks. Cool, good times. So, but with that, hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for checking this video out. Let me know if you like it, don't like it. Tell me some some of your favorite Dark Saber stories. Ha ha ha. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time. Throw one back, and I'll see you.